Wrexham isn't a city, and it definitely wasn't built on rock and roll. But it could become one, as the UK government looks to convert some towns into cities as part of the Queen's Jubilee celebrations next year. If a bid happens, it'll be the fourth time trying. This is the beautiful St Giles's Church in Wrexham. But in order to become a city, don't you need a cathedral? Well, no you don't. But what are the people of this town make of city status. Wrexham becoming a city, good idea, bad idea? Bad idea. A bad idea, why? I don't think it's a good idea, it's, just, it's not a city, it's a town. It's just a waste of money, money that we can't afford to spend to be honest. Well, you need to sort the town centre out first. I think most people prefer it as a town, it's got traditional market values. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, what do you like about it? Love it. Well, give it a lot of status, would not it? Yeah. About time Wrexham became a city? Yeah. Yes. What's the best thing about Wrexham? Everything. The pubs. <laughs> the council say given its current economic strength, it seems sensible to explore the opportunity of Wrexham becoming a city. We would have liked to have spoken to them on camera about it, but it seems they didn't want to talk to us. So instead, Ian Will, a local businessman. So we're trying to do what we can collectively to enhance Wrexham's image for, for business and leisure and tourism. And we just think that having that word city after the name Wrexham would just give it that little bit more kudos, a little bit more, uh, a little bit make it sound a bit more of an, more of an attractive place to, to invest and to visit. While the council say they're exploring the benefits of city status before making a final decision, this councillor says, don't bother. There's a buzz about Wrexham at the moment, you know, with what's happening with the Hollywood stars. Look, the sun is out here today. Why not make this place a city? Well, why make it place, the place a city if there's a buzz about it now as a proud market town? We're going places, we've got huge uh, plans in terms of redeveloping the racecourse, the Wrexham Gateway, this market behind you. There's, there's a whole host of things happening in town as a town. Uh, what difference would a city make? And to my mind, what we're talking about is sticking a, an artificial label on something. It won't make a blind bit of difference to us in reality. Well, does the status make a difference? Wales' newest city is just down the road from Wrexham, at St Asaph. I think the city status has just given us a boost. That's city pride? A, pride, pride's a wonderful word, yes, it really has. We, we're really, we're thankful to get the, to get the city. Very small, 3,500 population, but to actually beat some of the bigger places to win city status was, uh, you can imagine the boost it gave to, to the residents. Wales has six cities. St Asaph may be small, but it's not the smallest. That title goes to St David's in Pembrokeshire. We've also got Bangor, Newport, Swansea and Cardiff. As for where the Llandaff, a city within a city in the capital, should be added to that list, we'll let you decide. Wrexham's not the only Welsh town hoping for city status. There is another in the south, in the valleys. How does the city of Merthyr Tydville sound to you? Not very good to me anyway. Why not? There's nothing open yet, is there? I love Merthyr. I... <laughs> but can you see her as a city? I can't, no. Merthyr, Merthyr got a lot of history. Yes. So can you see it be one day the city of Merthyr Tydville? Exactly, of course. You're up for that? I'm up for that. we town people. We're not a city people. Local MP Gerald Jones hopes to win people over. When I was in Wrexham, interviewing people on the street, and the same here in Merthyr, I'm hearing a lot of negativity. Is there something about confidence in these areas that people have in, in their towns? I, I think that, that, that's a fair point. I mean, I think, you know, it, it's, we need a conversation uh, about what benefits city status could, could bring. Um, <laughs> clearly, you know, it's not going to resolve all the issues that people have concerns about, whether that's antisocial behaviour, bus services, uh, and, and all of those bread and butter issues that, that people are rightly concerned about. But I think, you know, as far as being a city is concerned, it's about aspiration. Formal bids have to be in by December. Who wins? We'll find out next year. We built this city.